Today's video is how to set up Panic Assist on Bind and Fly models using AR630, AR631, and AR637TA. So let's get started. In this tutorial, I will show you how to put the Panic Assist on the I button. First thing I want to mention is the difference between Panic Assist on the I button and Safe Select or Safe Mode on your flight mode channel. If you don't understand about flight mode channel and how to set that up and to program the switch in the orientation that you want, I have a previous video showing how to set that up on the receivers I mentioned. So the difference between using safe and panic assist, when you use safe mode, that is going to self level and bank limitation until you take it out of safe mode. So we have the switch down, that's gonna be our AS3X mode, middle's AS3X mode, and our top is the safe mode. So when I flip this switch up into the safe mode, it's gonna stay in that bank limitation and self-leveling until we flip it out of safe. Panic assist on the I button is only going to work when you have the button pressed down. So we lose orientation or a plane goes upside down and we need to recover the plane. We hold the button in. It's going to stay in the self-leveling and bank limitation mode until we let go. So the way we do that is we need to put a mix in the radio. Push enter. Scroll down to mixing. We use mix one. You can use any available mix. Go to the first part, change that to I because we want to use the I button. Change this to auxiliary two. That's the standard safe mode channel, which is also known as channel seven. Right? We will change in just a moment. We need to go ahead and assign the switch. We want this to correspond with switch C because that's what we've set our flight modes up. So we'll go ahead and toggle the switch, switch C. Now we need to go up. First position we want to select is position two, which is the switch all the way down. Now go to the right percentage this one we have highlighted, push enter, change that to minus 100. Go down to offset, change that to plus 100. You notice at the bottom, nothing's changing on auxiliary two at the moment. When we press the button, you will see how this mix works. When you go into safe mode, auxiliary two changes from the current percentage to plus 100. So check out what happens when we push the I button down with the monitor on auxiliary two. See it goes to plus 100. So let's say my plane's now flying level and it's being corrected out of a bad orientation we let it go now we have all our controls back in normal mode now let's go to the middle position you notice it shows zero and it deletes all the values in the middle position you only need to put this on minus 100 Now, same thing, you can see it's at zero. We push the button, it will go to plus 100, and that will put us in our panic assist. Last is a switch in the top position. You notice it resets them all again. In that position, you don't need to put anything in because you would be in safe mode. If you learned something new today or enjoyed the video, go ahead and push the like button. You want to see future videos, subscribe to the channel while you're here. 
I appreciate y'all watching, and I'll see you on the next one.